So week two of scouting is going to look like this. We just discovered that our bonus allotment is actually much lower this year at only $5.75 million. That's a major, major problem for us to try to overcome. A curveball that we didn't see coming because two guys that we had just finished scouting, Pedro Colon and Reggie Pena in the first week, were each demanding over $4 million for their bonus, which we can't afford. But that leaves us next to nothing to sign the next four picks that we would have. And so knowing that now, we've got to reach a little further back into the bag and pull somebody that's got a later draft rank and inherently a later or lower bonus demand. There's just no other way that we're going to be able to get through this draft class. If we pick high and get somebody very good, that will literally be the only thing we can afford, and that's not acceptable. So we're going to pick Orville Russ, a starting pitcher. Draft rank for the MLB board is 49. Dominic Martinez, a first baseman. Unbelievably, a draft rank of 86. But his numbers look absolutely incredible right now. Yeah, Panther's going to bring it up here. Look at all that sweet, sweet blue. An offensive powerhouse on every single stat. His future numbers on the defensive side of the ball will eventually put him into really, really great territory. Yeah, and for a first baseman, Evan, having the power is usually what you get, but if we're going to get that kind of contact, yeah, vision and discipline, if yeah. you ask, like, come on. So Simply cannot pass up looking at Dominic Martinez. Then yeah. the thing is, too, if his draft rank for the MLB, if it dropped a bit, I don't think it's just much. But our second pick is the third round at number 99. So it's possible he could still be around for the third yeah. round pick. So we're, we're, we're putting little hopes and dreams on that because Greg Bradford definitely looks like he's got some great potential as a first baseman. So we're hoping with a bit more scouting he's going to prove to be solid and we'll see if Dominic Martinez falls apart on one week of scouting or not. Yeah, so. and we'll get our um, majority of progress done on Bradford with this week's as well. And we'll hopefully get a look at bonus demands because we need to really keep an eye on that. Yeah. Anybody being greedy is going to be told to kick dirt. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right. Oof. Preds and the Pirates and the Cardinals. The hell with yous. <laughs> oh yeah, now with the twins. God damn it. <laughs> well, at least we got Corbin Burns on the mound. Yeah. Uh the although he's going against Pablo Lopez, who is having an incredible start to the year. Oh god damn it, Pablo. That's crazy. Yeah. I think All right. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> Game three, tic tac toe is up, and that means we should have a W here. <laughs> yeah. It's more than a trend. It's prophecy at this point. Oh my Jeez. god. Back to 500 ball at 8 and 8, a 10 to 3 game, a blowout versus Minnesota. And uh, Soda wasn't even in the lineup. Jeez. Chung Walker and Harry Ford with two home runs. Wow. Damn. That's okay. awesome to see. Okay. Ford went three for five. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Wow. Jordan Walker surging at 354 now. Jesus. He went three for five. All right. Damn. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, stolen base. I thought that yeah. was an error for a second. <laughs> I thought that was an error. I was going to yell at him. Yeah. Yay, you got a stolen base. And we see the duo strike again, Burns and Merriweather. Great, great game by the both of those guys. Corbin Burns going eight with only three earned runs. He did walk five and give up six hits, but had everything firmly under control to limit the damage, and Merriweather cleans up in an on save situation. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. That's a great outing. Yeah, some very good cool. numbers on the, on the offense and great numbers on the pitching side and the defense. No errors? Great. Mm -hmm. Yep. Great. Great asset. <laughs> Corbin Burns is a great, great asset. Very much so. 
And so has Grayson Rodriguez been with 18 innings played and an ERA of only three with 24 strikeouts. He does have a loss, but has been performing very well in his outings. Going against Alex Wood, who's got a 2-0 record. 18 innings with 11 strikeouts and a 2-9-5 ERA. Yeah. So other than the, Remember, sh- other than the strikeouts being definitely in our favor, the ERAs are pretty much dead even. Well, and it was Grayson Rodriguez's last game that he struck out, what was it, 11? Yeah. Over six innings? Yeah, he put on the clinic last time, so. Yeah, I mean, that was really an outlier game, so we'll we'll see what he comes back with here in the first game against the Oakland A's, who are currently 5-11. and 11. We're back at 500, so let's get over that 500 hump now. Yeah. Oh, no. I think this one we can probably sim. I think this is a lot lower, <laughs> a lot lower importance, you know, versus the A's. All right. Oh, we got yeah, it. Yeah, we did it. Nice. Okay. Wow. So for the first time in a week, we put together two wins in a row. <laughs> Soto still hitting third. I don't understand this lineup. I don't either. I, 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 I just kind of give up at this point, I think. I mean, just, I mean, there's there's nothing we can do. Like I said, short the, of starting every game and then simming it, the, nothing the, we can do. We can another good game, two for four. Yeah. Jung, Jung with another home run. Hell yeah. Doubles from Horner, Walker, Suzuki, and Pete Crow. Very nice. Great game by Grayson Rodriguez. He'll rack up seven more strikeouts there. Yeah. Two earned, three walks over seven. I'll take that every fucking day. Yeah. Got into a bit of a jam in the eighth inning, and then Abner took over, and he gets credited with the win for getting out of it with two outs from him, and then Alzale closes it down for save number four. Nice. Nice. Your eBay still rocking that 0 0 0 ERA, just bagels. Kind of love it. Yeah. And Steele needs to bounce back. Yeah. This has he, not been uh... a good start for him. I mean, 16 innings and 14 strikeouts, I think, too shabby. Um, you know, I mean, he needs a few more strikeouts to get a bit, you know, to make those numbers look a little nicer. But that 6-4 ADRA is scary. Yeah. But he had a Got couple it. He had a couple rough games for us last year, and then he became the workhorse. So, fingers yeah. crossed that happens again. Maybe just a slow starter each year, you know? Because mm-hmm. I, I do believe, I, I think you're right on, is that we were worried about him, and eventually he just started – getting consistently good and, and stayed there. Going to come JP Sears who's gonna want to record 18 innings, 16 strikeouts, and a two ERA. Yeah. Man. Great start to the year for Sears, and let's see if we can swap that. There it is. Dude. For the first time in this MLB season, <laughs> we've got three games one in a row. Nice. Nice. Yeah, and we do put the hurting on JP Sears as well. A seven to one blowout to improve our record to ten and eight. And wow, great game for some of these guys. Soto three for five, Madrigal two for four, Ford three for four. Home runs by Soto and Suzuki. There we go. Turning the ship around a little bit. Yeah. Oh God. Error. De La Cruz strikes again. <laughs> Kyle Edwards. There's Didn't the game we needed from Steele. Yeah. Eight innings, one earned. One walk, wow. eight strikeouts. Hell yeah. Carl Edwards come in and jump two hits, but then he had two strikeouts to finish up the ninth. Yeah. Drops Get out of it. Down. Yep. Rocking De La Cruz, man. Yep. Like clockwork. He's doing so well. All right. Three games is a verified streak. And again, for the first time, three in a row now, can we finish it, sweep Oakland, and give ourselves some true momentum in the month of April? No. No. (laughs) No. 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 Possible. You know, I do my best to try to tee up the dramatic situations and be theatrical there, and I just, you know, each time it's just met with a wet fart. Man, we, we didn't do fucking nothing. Five hits, 11 strikeouts. And two of them by the bench player, Canario. What happened? Holy fuck. 11 strikeouts. Freed. Not a terrible game. 
Killian came in and did great. Four earned over 5.2. I mean, it's not a disaster. No. But but just the offense completely completely out of the game. They had that three wow. game win streak under their belt and they thought they were kings. I think I think we need to go down to the locker room and show them the fucking standings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, just right now we're not very close. I know it's only 3.5, and we are obviously very early on in the season, but to be firmly in fourth place is not where we want to be. I don't think it's where these guys want to be, and it's not where we deserve. No. Yeah. I don't the lineup understand. is still as we as we did it. Yeah. It's just on game day, management down there is switching it. I'll be right back. I'm going to talk to the manager. <laughs> I want to speak <laughs> yeah. to your manager. <laughs> I want to speak to my manager. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. We hired that guy and paid him good money. Stop. So I wonder, I wonder if you click it, like go as if we're going to like start the game. Like let's, let's go through that process. Let's try that for like this three game series versus Houston and see what happens. Okay. Yep. Play game. Okay. Let's do playful game so we're in control. Keep it on our control. Yep. Oh, City Connect Day. Cool. Yep. Yep. We'll go ahead and start the game and then just hit pause and then we'll exit and sim it. But we need to have the control going into it so that the lineup is exactly what we choose. That's so Tyone, and then this is our lineup. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. And take it away. Simulate. And then if you hit, uh, I don't know, oh, B is your skip button. Oh, yeah. Now that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah, because we won eight for three. But the home runs, Owner De La Cruz and Chan Well. Yeah. Tyone did a decent enough job. Five innings pitched with three earned runs. He only walked two. Lots of contact, though. Seven hits and only three strikeouts. Happy to see a better outing from Killian for two and two-thirds. But, yeah, that's the lineup that we want to see. Josh Jung, of course, struggling that day. Jordan Walker as well. Yeah. But that looks more like it. Yeah, it's odd that the fucking game day lineup, when we look at it, it's fine. But when we sim it from the start, it's not. Yeah. I don't I don't know. Like, there's not a setting. We have everything to manual. Yep. There's no setting on auto. Like, the lineups and everything is fully under our control. We set it, and then game day comes, and all of a sudden, the computer is allowed to switch it. Yeah, the days that there's substitutions, that's that not we can do about that. But Of course. I mean, if they're... If they're, if they're the, if, in real life, if, in other words, Soto is getting an off day, our backup left fielder is not going to be hitting second. So whenever there's substitutions, you expect the lineup not to be this. But if it's a day everybody is playing like this, our lineup should be this. Yeah. Well, in the amount of days that we've looked at the box score and we see alternates every single day, it's not about tiredness either. You yeah. know, at that point, it's it's the computer just making those changes because some reason is telling it to. But we have everything on manual and we've set our lineup, so it shouldn't be. The only thing that should be happening is these guys play until they're bone tired. And then, like, there should be a notification, you know, that so and so, you know, should have an off day. I would rather see that kind of a system. Yeah. Or, yeah, so and so needs, you know, he's, he's been playing hard the last two days, needs a break. And you just yeah. say sub and you say yes. Yeah, the computer would say, should we sub for bench player, you know, so-and-so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. 
Wow. All right. We need to just make our own baseball game. Dude, tell me about it. We need, we need to go down to San Diego Studios and shake the fucking shit out of the leads <laughs> down there and say, look, this is what needs to be done. Yeah. You haven't updated franchise mode in fucking 10 years. <laughs> well, the tic-tac-toe is back. The flip-flops, yeah. the flip-flip-flip-flim-flams, the shim sham <laughs> the whole thing. The Tommy fams. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Corbin Burns versus Fromber Valdez. Wow. Valdez is having a good ERA year. One yeah, he eight. sure is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, the experiment on our lineup He's looks to... to be working. Nico? Yeah. Suzuki, John? Yep. All good. Wow, early offense. Nope. Damn. Jordan Alvarez, you bastard. Two home <laughs> runs. First for the victorious Ouch. Wow, they only struck out three times. Jeez. We struck out ten. Oh! <laughs> that's, that's about right. Josh Young hit two home runs, though. Yeah, Jung hit two, and he had uh, he went three for five. And Suzuki went three for five, but he had an RBI. Yeah. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please. Two walks. De La Cruz has day. brought his average up to 231 now. Yeah, he had two walks. Jeez. Oh, Burns. yeah. Rough Burns. day. Burns had a roughie. And then Taj gave up a fucking run, and then so did Alzale. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys doing? Who's our pitching coach? Should we, can we fire that asshole? <laughs> our ERAs are horrible. God. Oh, man. This was well, we were still, still able to score five on 14 hits. So, like, again, the offense is there. We just have to have both sides of the ball on the same day, man. Christ. Yeah, so Tic-Tac-Toe is absolutely back now in full swing. And we're tied for third in the division, though. Hmm. Yeah, because the Cardinals are not yeah. doing any better. Near the Brewers, thankfully. Yeah, the Brewers are still falling behind, which at least it's one less we have to worry about. Fucking Pirates and the Reds are playing good ball, though. Yeah. Eight and yeah, two, seven and three. Damn. Fucking Reds are 15 and five. Yeah, what a hot start. It might be one of the best teams right now. So far, they are. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Reds are the best team in baseball. Damn. Yeah, because we took Aradale of the Cruz and gave them Dansby Swanson. <laughs> We've done this to ourselves. Maybe it's time to go after Gunnar Henderson. <laughs> Don't know if we get any pieces to trade. Do we? Let's trade all our first baseman. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, all right, let's jump into uh, scouting. Holy shit. That did looks good Brad, on the bonus demands. Did Bradford's fucking draw Frank drop or what? Ouch. 75. Huh. Yes, yeah, contact number dropped. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. Does power numbers come up a little bit? I think they might have, actually. So a little bit of a trade off there. It'll just he yeah. looks a little more balanced, really. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll huh. take I'll take a, a a slight tip in contact to get a little bit more power, but I'm not wanting him to drop contact and just have power because he never fucking hit nothing. Right. Because he's not a big guy. Five ten, one ninety eight. <laughs> yeah, he's not big. His defensive numbers know. are still looking okay, but yeah, his fucking yeah, he still looks fine. He would be a great. 
early second round pick. Oh yeah, you know if we had that option. So Bradford may not be the guy. First off, the draft rank improved on Martinez. That means his numbers went up. Yeah. Draft rank's still 86 on the big board, but 73 on ours. Yeah. And those numbers all look still look great. So crazy that we're talking about our fir first round pick at number 21 for a guy that's ranked 86. Yeah. But it's he nuts. he looks to be it, dude. Yeah. His potential is 60 to 86 and overall 63 to 89. So he definitely could come in in the 70s. Fuck, if he came in in the 70s at 18 years old, dude, psh, I mean, no time at all, he'd be, be potential. All right, so here is what week three of scouting is going to look like. We're taking a look at Esteban Tejera. Hopefully I said that. It's not Chajera, I don't think. It's got to be no. an H, right? H sound, Tejera. Oh, that's what uh, I believe as well. Yeah, second baseman who's got some pretty damn good stats we're going to look at. We are giving more time. Ooh. Yeah, look at these defensive numbers. Everything on that side of the ball looks incredible. He's going to have great contact and vision as well and will develop into power and discipline eventually. Yeah, he's 6'1 and 188 at 19 years old, so he's, he's not a tiny little boy. So. Yeah. We're also looking at him as a potential backup to our current slotted first round pick. So he, he's not somebody that we're we're banking on getting per se, but as a backup, it's hard to do better than that. Yeah. We move on from there to Orville Russ to get more scouting progress on him, and we'll be taking our first look at Julian Lorenz as well. All right, game three versus Houston. We have flip-flopped, and we are due for that win. Let's take the series. Grayson Rodriguez versus Hunter Brown. All right, let's uh, let's take the fucking series. Oh. Um. Yeah, I'd say let's probably skip this one. We'll keep the pace of play going. Damn. All right, well, let's, let's look. So <laughs> we took the Philly series. We lost the Mets series. We lost the Miami series. We split the Cincinnati series. We won the Minnesota series. We won the Oakland series. We just lost the Houston series. We cannot get out of our own fucking way. No. No, we can't. And we lose two games in a row again. That is the third time this year that we have. And one, an 0-1 loss. We're not even looking at the box score. I don't even care. No, no because it didn't happen for us. Yeah, we didn't score runs. And if we got hits, then we didn't drive them in. So forget it. Yeah. God damn. Jeez. All right. So we'll enter and host the New York Mets for four games. And we have identical records batting or playing 500 baseball. Justin Steele, after a great outing last time, will face Walker Bueller, who looks to have a very good start to his year as well. And man, we've got to turn things around here. Big time. We got to start. 500 does not feel good. No. We're not the Oakland A's. <laughs> so, game one versus the Mets. We'll see our first critical situation in the series. We are down by one. Wow. Ellie De La Cruz is at bat with one out and a man on first. Last chance to do it. Open three on the day. Or walk it. Yeah. Edwin Diaz on the mound. Nope. Misses two in a row. We do have a split advantage here with De La Cruz hitting better against the righties. Not on that one. Gets contact. Oh. oh, wow. Just a laser beam. Right at the third baseman's dick. Jeez. And Pico Armstrong now with two outs and a man on represents our last hope. And he'll watch strike one. And we know for sure that the manager fucked with the lineup again. Yep. Because we don't have Taylor Cruz and, and Armstrong uh, back to back. No. <laughs> Fuck. One and one. And the steal is on. And he makes it there. Suzuki puts himself in scoring position. Guess what? It doesn't matter. The Mets win anyways. Damn it. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> oh God! Oh my God! One, two, three, four, five fucking bagels. Yep. What is going on? And they got Chandler hitting second again. Why did they constantly put him hitting they second? They love him at number two. I I don't. Maybe we should just set our lineup this way. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll put it back to the way we want it. What the hell? I don't know. Suzuki at home run at least. Yeah. I mean, Suzuki is pretty much the only bright spot. It's time to turn it around. Max yeah. Fried. Yeah, because look at Sean Manea. Yeah. An 883 RA. So a no wins. 17 innings and 16 strikeouts and an 883. We, we have to win this game. Let's do yeah. this. There it is. Streaks over. Manea's worse. <laughs> yep. All right. That's a lot better. So, yeah. Soto three for four with a walk. Harry Ford three for three with two walks. A perfect day. Yeah. Wow. Almost everybody got a hit. Canario is the only one without one. Even Horn had three. Suzuki had two hits. So, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Soto with the home run. Triple by Suzuki. Yeah, we had McCann covering first base today, too. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, because Ford is in the game as catcher. So finally got a little bit of first base out of McCann. Interesting. I should see yep. them mix that up. Yeah, I do like that. Free did a great game. Yeah, bounce back game for him for Jeez, sure. Eight innings, one earned, nine strikeouts. Yep. Carl Edwards Jr. with another good inning of yep. relief. Nice to see him rebound after that tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right. So the streak is broken, and Jameson Tyone will get the nod for game number three still without a win or a loss. He's pitched over 20 innings with 17 strikeouts and a really ugly 5.66 ERA. But on the other side of the coin there, Jeffrey Springs looks to have – a really a worse outing. He's got more innings played by just one out, but a significantly worse ERA at six four three with the same amount of strikeouts. It's a battle of the five hundreds. Yeah, battle of the bottom here, pretty much. So one of these teams is going to be above five hundred. One of these teams is going to be below five hundred. Yep. Jesus. Oh man, Christ! The fucking five hundred teams. Are fucking tied 5-5 five, five in the ninth. With two outs. All right, game three against these 500 baseball teams. We'll see Francisco Lindor at the plate with men on the corners and two outs. Taj Bradley is tasked with keeping this game exactly where it is. At the ball. Missing two in a row. Ooh, Lindor's only hitting 107 with runners and scoring. I like that. Yep. Fuck. Contact to left, and that's it. Yeah, they're scoring on that for sure. Lindor with a two-out RBI single. Taj has failed us. Again. He'll stay in now. Still two men on, but first and second this time, and it's Jason Hayward. Only one for four in the day. Two good pitches from Bradley. One ball. No Two chase. Points. Challenged him higher. upstairs with that one, yeah. A little bit higher would have been better. The one and two from Bradley. Oh, tries to drop it in. That was beautiful. Oh, no. Contact deep to right field. Going back to the track, to the wall. It's out of here. Jason Hayward. A three-run blast. And that'll pretty much seal the deal. Um, I haven't seen much of Almonte through three weeks of baseball. He's pitched one inning. Where have you been, bud? I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> All in one. 
I'd say we're definitively on a skid. I don't understand. Nope, outside. There's not much more of an explanation that I think is possible. You know, we just... We keep floating around 500, win-loss, win-loss, you know, and went on a losing streak, the worst of the year so far. We got shut out recently for the first time. I don't know, man. We definitely, Hard. we definitely need to rebrand the team to the orphans. Because <laughs> nobody's gonna want us. <laughs> Jesus! Fuck. Oh my God! Fucking stop it! <laughs> right now. The full count to Brandon Nemo. Man. I hope we find Nemo striking Come on, out. Come Monte. And that's to left and fouled out. What do you think the bigger problem for us right now is? Pitching or, or hitting? Yes. <laughs> oh! Wow, watch that's his strike That's a big three. bright spot. A big fucking bright spot right there. And we'll go Dude, to the bottom I, of the I don't fucking know. We put up runs. And it's not like we have like four or five errors a game where like, oh my god, our defense sucks ass. Yeah. It's pitching. If you I, look I at think our, it's pitching. If you look at our ERAs, they all suck. Except yeah. for two. Haribe and, Walker and, second. and... And um, Corbin Burns. Yeah. And Grayson, I think. We have three pitchers that are doing well. That's a ball. It's so hard to tell because, you know, like you said, we've been an offensively powerhouse team for most of the games that we've played. High scores, averaging over three per game. You know, even in this game, we're losing it now by four, but we scored five runs. That's a good game, offensively. Our pitching let us down because yeah. they scored five on us and we were holding our own until Taz Bradley shit on the carpet. Yeah. He's... You know, I'm going to hit up with the newspaper. <laughs> like all of the newspapers at the yeah. same time. <laughs> like, fuck. Nick Madrigal is in the game today at number six, and he is one for four. Two outs. Probably the final one. Watches that curveball that was just perfectly delivered to him. I thought that was it again. Jeez. <laughs> so did I. Okay. Runs account full. Early on that, Nico's foul. We'll get another try. And that will go to second and be routinely played. Mets win. Wow. The disappointment is just palpable now. It's it's permeating all aspects. We are on a definitive skid now. So since we put our asses on the line with us potentially being fired after three seasons, can we see what our requirements are to keep our job? So they wanted us to reach the postseason last year, which we did. So we met that expectation. Our job security is currently good. And our yearly goal is to win the division. And our contract goal, which would give us a big boost, is to win the league pennant. <sighs> Some other bonus goals here for team performance is win 20 games in a single month. We're not going to do that in this month for sure. No. Win 95 games in a season. If we can get out of this slump, we've got a great chance. We've got a better team now than we did last year, you know, on paper. And last year we won 89. Yeah. So it's doable. So the win the division, and we're currently in third. Five games, five and a half games back? Yeah, something like that. So if we don't win the division, that drops up job security, right? It could, yeah. The contract goal, which one is the, which one is the more severe, the contract goal? Contract goal, I would guess. So we need to, we need to win the league pendant? Before year three? Get fired. 
That's gonna be so bad. <laughs> what a what a fitting end for two idiots running a baseball team. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, we see, we we didn't fucking put our fucking nuts on the line when we done the national series, dude. Yeah, we didn't have enough time to. Well, no, we 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 turned that option off. Oh, did we? <laughs> yeah, we didn't have it because we figured we were gonna suck shit for two or three <laughs> seasons, and then we, you know. We would you know, then, you know, turn the, se- the team around. But, yeah, we didn't put our fucking balls in the line. We did with this one. Our rating yeah. is a C. Me yeah, f- right now. All right, boys, you're fucking dragging us down. <laughs> hey, but we moved up. We're in third now because the Cardinals suck. Yay. <laughs> with a fucking loss we moved up in the ranking what the fuck how'd that happen yeah they lost more i guess our oh. win on uh game two they yeah. probably lost they're on a streak i would imagine yeah oh my god okay versus kodai senga yeah can we split it and retain some dignity Jesus. yeah god. A shut out blowout Awesome. All wow, right. Soto. Oh, for five with two strikeouts. Ouch. Suzuki three for four. Nice. Chung two for four. Mm-hmm. Cruz two for four. Pete Crow three for five. There we go. There we go. All right. Complete game. Wow, complete game shutout. Let's go, and Burns. Nine hits, one walk, eight strikeouts. Wow, man. Friggin' dominant. Well, that's nice to see. Very nice to see. <laughs> and we're back in 500.